Hello, Zero K okay fans. This is Show 363 with an expedition match stream. Though, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different today. I got a couple, of, well, I got a couple of games that I realized we should be going a bit over games of newer players, getting a bit more detail about how to get better at the game, showing mistakes and so forth. I'm not the best player by any stretch. You've seen me play. I'm not terribly great, but I figure I might as well at least offer something a bit different than just constantly powering through a bunch of different replays from well-known players. So, we're gonna have a couple games featuring DDs versus Killer, and just watch through them and comment on them as I normally do, but more with an eye to talking about the things can be done better in their play, and also stuff they're doing right, so more educational bet. Anyway, let us begin. So. Dee's starting off with a shield bot factory. He's interestingly going a bit south in this one. On a map like Adamantine Mountain, it's a little bit tricky. You kind of want to have it... I mean, most of the time you want to have your factory close to your opponent. So Dee's here. Most of the time you'd be going further north rather than going south of your base just to reduce the rush distance. Really important. He's also going for five bandits, which leads me to believe that he may be going for a raid. You only really want to go for five bandits when you're going for heavy raiding early on. And after that, going straight into Thugball Felon, which is likely to be too soon. You really, you'd want to be raiding more early on. Actually, you'd want to get an early scout. One bandit to scout with, and then after that, you'd want to go from there. What the hell? Anyway. Killer, on the other hand, he is going for Cloakabot Factory, and he only has a couple glaives, and using them for Rector. Well, for covering for a rector, which is pretty much exactly what you want. While Dedebs, like I said, still going with this, has not changed his build queue yet. He is going for a decent power infrastructure, though. That's not bad. His radar and shotgun, interesting choice. I mean, okay, commander meta has not been settled, so I'm not going to make any comments on that. Commander meta is just weird right about now. However, like, okay, light particle beam. Aren't a bad choice. Overall, though, support com is probably not the better option. Battle and recon are probably still the better options to go for commanders. But support com is not probably a terrible choice. Anyway, coming into initial fight, not sure this is going to go for micromanagement. Deves is really unable to do much with that, unfortunately. The thing is, you not the better oh, option. The hell? Battle and recon are probably still the better options to go for commanders. I. Sorry, I didn't realize that... Ah, apologize, Twitch can be a pain in the butt Not all the, the time. better option. What Battle and Recon are probably still the better options to go for commanders. I really don't want to have to restart this damn stream. Ugh. Sorry, Twitch is being a pain. I apologize for that echo. It's just... Uh, it's my nerves. Anyway... As I was saying, Killer is going for much more of a typical strategy. He has some radar set up, mostly for defense. He should be sending a couple of these out to scout out with, like one or two, one on each side. One going on the side here, one going to the side as well. That would be the thing to do in order to make sure he knows what Deebs is up to. At the moment, Killer does have radar, but only to the center of the map. He doesn't know what Deebs is doing on his side of the map. And Deebs, at the same time, his commander is his radar. Which is giving him a decent view of the map, but it does mean that he doesn't get the high ground advantage of building a radar on a hill like this. So I don't know if radar module is the best choice, but it does mean you have to build radar, which, yeah, I don't know. That may be questionable. Anyway, we do see that Deebs' shield ball is starting up right now at the 310 mark, which, like I said before, is fairly early. I don't anticipate this is going to work especially well, but, you know, it, it might. It's unlikely, but it might. And now Killer is retreating with his Glaze, as you should. The thing is, Raider Micro is very focused around retreating. You do want to make sure you're, you are getting your units out of the way, regrouping, getting into a better position. And Killer showing off that that works very well. Not why that works. A lot of it has to do with the way that, obviously, first off, you're not running into projectiles if you're running away. And it's also the fact, and it gives you more time to dodge. And then there's just the fact that well, okay, tur the thing is you have to be careful when you're doing that. The thing is the turrets do generally rotate slower than the units do, so units have a tendency to be a little bit more... reluctant to fire if you're turning too quickly. If you're, mo if you're moving them around too quickly, they're not going to be firing as often as they would be 
if you were just letting them go back in a straight line. So you got to be careful about that. If their turrets start moving away from the target, they're going to not be firing anymore. Anyway, Deebs is coming in with his shield ball along the east, the west side of the map, while the east side he is expanding a bit. At this point, both players have the same amount of expansion, although Killer, he is starting to leave his commander behind. That's easy mistake to make, but he is not expanding with his commander right now, which he should be just along this side. That's something he needs to do. Also, he does have rock which is not a bad thing to get at this stage. He's... I'm not sure he's aware of the felon coming. He's not aware, probably, of the felon coming. He doesn't see it. He wouldn't expect it. You wouldn't expect to have a felon this early on in 1v1. It's really atypical. However, he does have his rogues up. Sorry, Rocco's up. He does have more Rocco's coming. And that felon... It's going to be a bit of a pain, though. That's one thing. And even though the Rocco's do knock down the shields pretty effectively, that will be small issue. We'll see if Killer does go for the Sharpshooter in order to counter the Felon, or if he's just going to continue to spam Rocco's. He is making very good use of the high ground, though. That is an important thing to bear in mind. That high ground is giving him a lot of advantages. Range is one. There's also the fact that firing back at him is just harder as a result. Deebs is walking up the hill of the high ground, but it's taken a while, and these Rocco's have a wonderful chance to get in position. And that outlaw goes... I mean, the outlaw didn't really add much. At this point, really more bandits. That's the thing that Deebs needed to do, is just have more bandits to begin with. Now he has his felon up. He has his initial build queue done. I... and both players are floating, by the way. Not not at all surprising. It's just worth pointing out. He to push thugs. I mean, at this point, he is committed to the thug felon game, and way too soon. Like, minutes too soon, at least. Like, now would be maybe the time when you'd start, if you were in a decent position map control-wise... At the moment, it's just that Killer hasn't really expanded much. That's the only reason why Deebs isn't feeling a lot of pressure, and kind of vice versa. Deebs is expanding a bit, but he's not expanding to the west very much. Killer isn't expanding to the northeast very much. It's a little bit passive, so that's one thing I'd say. Big thing to do. Now, at this point, the Felon Ball is in place, and the Rago does see the Felon Ball. Killer is aware of the Felon Ball coming in, and this Thug Weaver is out of position, so it is not going to survive for very long. Unless it retreats, which it, of course, will. <sighs> However, the thing with the Rockos is that they do take out shields pretty effectively. They're inaccurate, but because they hit the shields, that directly reduces the amount of firepower the Felon has. The more damage done to shields, the less fire the Felon can do. I mean, the Felon fires based on shield energy, of course. So Rockos do work as a nice soft counter to that. Keeping the Felon dropping down and... Dropping down on tough units, too, like that Warrior. That was really... Well, that was the worst unit for it to attack. I mean, Deebs, like I said, really needs to have bandits to deal with these Rockos. That's the best thing he has. The Rockos are countering out this Thug Ball. And when now the shields are going down, the Felon using the last of his shields to get rid of some defenses, and that's not going to do much good. The Rockos can just tear this ball apart at this point. Now, Deebs is countering... Okay, these defenders... Not Okay, in general, you don't want to be building too much in the way of defenses. You want to build enough defenses that you can basically get your units there in time. So a couple of LLTs around the metal extractors wouldn't be a bad idea, but a bunch of defenders like this, not worth it. A single warrior could just run through that, no problem. Or a few Rockos could just take it on from the side without any issues. Like there's, it's, it's not worth building that many defenses. So yeah, overall, Deeb's factory should be closer to reduce rush distance. Raiders, you start with one, unless you really want to go heavy raiding, which you rarely do. Just start with one for scouting, maybe another one for scouting later on, but the rest of them you just want to have sort of raiding the periphery. And you don't want to get thug... You don't want to get a thug felon ball until... basically the point where you comfortably have part of the map, and Killer going for the proper response with the sharpshooter. He is going correct, however, he is not building. That is one big thing. His clickbot factory is not building. That is a problem. Needs to make sure that is building. You always want to have stuff building all the time, of course. And repeat queue is your friend in this situation. No reason not to use it. So Killer is floating a ton of cash right now. As is Deebs, though Deebs is more just a lack of a caretaker. He is pushing that out now, and that might actually give him a good position. And the Rockos starting to become less effective. There are enough shields that I think the Rockos probably won't last long enough to take him down. The Sharpshooter is good. More of them need to be built. More of them... Zeus's aren't okay, but more of them are being built. They are in the queue. So, Killer getting that up, but like I said, really does come down to how much you 
Bill, like, you just get get on an infinite queue. There's no reason not to have an infinite queue. And even now, he's still floating. He still does have 31 metal income and maybe 15 spending. And Deeves, on the other hand, is... He's... Not doing too much better. But anyway, nice peripheral rating by Killer. Showing off the power of that particular strategy. Now, Deeves is counterattacking through the center, but at this point, I... I think he probably surround. He is trying to go for this around. Pushing Killer back. Did lose a Metal Extract in the process. Nice raid by Killer there, but... Deeb's at this point. Getting some Roaches. Not a bad idea. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea if... I mean, Factor Switch might be a little bit premature at this point. I mean, he hasn't lost this game, and he is going... He did go for Bandits. That is good. That is good as he has gone for Bandits. Not... A whole lot of them, though, at this stage, I'm not sure. I think this is probably enough. However, bandits are still not being used. Why is he not attacking? He needs to attack the Roccos. The Roccos are the things he needs to attack. That That is his target. Get rid of the Roccos, and then everything else can just push through. There are sharpshooters in the way. That is wrong. There are all Zeus in the way. That's an even bigger problem, in a sense. I mean, sharpshooters are a big problem in the sense that they can basically just punch the shields with power, the power that they have in their attack. But, well, actually, never mind. Yeah, sharpshooters are the biggest problem. Nice market there by Killer as well. However, unfortunately, sharpshooters are taking some damage. Even with that, though, Zeus are doing a nice job here. And the thing is, once they get an EMP on, too, the shield goes down once the EMP is on. And another Felon goes down. So, like I said, this is where, this is where bandits would be useful. This is where rogues would be useful, actually. Very useful. Rogues, in this case. But Deeb's not going for that. Continue to push for Felon Thug out and some Outlaw. That is not really the way to go. Killer, however, once again, is leaving his factory idle. I do not know why he is not using Repeat Build. There is very little reason not to use Repeat Build. I honestly can't think of any. It's... If you're not going to use Repeat Build, at least do what Randy does and build 100 of every unit type. Because you do not have any reason not to get construction happening all the time. Now, Deebs, on the other hand, getting back to bandits, not a bad idea, just not have any easy answers to the Zeuses. The bandits, in large numbers, would be okay-ish, but I wouldn't recommend going for it. it. Like The Zeuses do not have that low of fire rate, so the bandits would be able to sort of get in, deal some damage, but ultimately wouldn't be able to... I mean, three Zeuses wouldn't be a problem for like 15 or so bandits, but it still would be iffy. Anyway... Quite a lot of thugs here. I mean, 13 thugs. That is a decent number, but given the fact that the sharpshooter is in play, hard counter is in play, Deeves is actually dangerous to close to losing his commander. Not going to, but he is dangerously close to it. Thankfully, he doesn't actually be, he's not relying on it to any extent, I don't think. He does have independent radar, so he's not relying on it for radar too much. Over Killer has radar coverage of the entire map. He knows exactly what's going on, can totally pick and choose his battles. And he is actually properly setting up his metal. His energy is running low, though. Not... Like, that is a mistake that anyone makes, but yeah, just pointing that out. Always a good idea to keep an eye on one's metal and energy. Running out of energy, especially when playing a sharpshooter-heavy strategy, is very painful. And now the bandit's coming in. Deebs is, in fact, trying to go for bandits to rush down to these Zeuses. There are about eight bandits here that won't be terribly effective. Like I said, there are enough Zeuses that it's probably going to be problematic. So yeah, these bandits will be able to deal some damage, but not very much. And ultimately, that is a f only slightly successful attack. Kills him. Actually, kills two metal extract. No, just one. And this... Oh, Conjurer is going to go down as well. That bandit did not... That did not need to happen. That really didn't need to happen. Deeves is actually getting a lot of free kills here. Losing that bandit, but that... Really was a little bit unnecessary. Could have gone with fewer hits than that. But at the same time, we do have Killers coming in here with his commander. Does have... Well, Beam Laser, Lazarus device. He has upgraded his commander quite a lot, in fact. A little surprised he's not using the Lazarus device at this point to get up all these... Well, okay, Roccos. But still, hey, more Roccos are good. Yeah, Sharpshooters are getting distracted by Bandits. This is where the Bandits will be useful. The Rockos are in too large numbers for the bandits to be useful, so it's not really worth worrying about. 
However, the bandits are coming in here, and that is going to be a short-lived attack. Really not going to do much good. It does reveal the existence of the sharpshooters, and... Well, okay, that Lotus... Getting rid of the... Well, without any issue, getting rid of the Roach. And these defenders going down... Like I said, these defenders are really not doing any good. Especially with the Lazarus Device Commander here. The only reason they're doing anything is because Killer is keeping most of his Rockos in back. And not anymore, though. He is moving them forward. Neither player going for a factory switch, by the way. Neither player really changing up their strategy much, by the way. Deeb's going for the same thing he's going for before. Killer getting a few more Zeus's, but once again, letting his metal just float. And his sharpshooters are getting heavily attacked. The Rockos... Are they going in... Well, they didn't seem to be going in a line. They're going in a line sort of based on the fight command, but they were not spread out in a line, unfortunately. That is a very... You need to spread your units out into a line. Absolutely have to do that, otherwise they cannot shoot through each other. If it weren't for the fact that I know that Killer's been playing this game for a while, I would expect he was a StarCraft player, due to the way he's not using re-PQ, the way he's not really using line move. It just... Very much... Forgetting the sort of UI... In, UI conveniences that the Spring Engine provides. Although he is in the fight command, so at least that's something. But yeah, unfortunately losing all of his Rockos on account of basically not line moving. That was unfortunate. They really could have dealt a lot of damage to that shield ball, but they did not. Oh, never mind. He's pointing out due to the fact that he's apparently been lagging out. Okay, well, in that case, I apologize if any of the issues were caused by lag rather than just caused by needing to practice more. If that's just lag, well, that can't be helped. So, fair enough. However, re-BQ, that's not lag. Just turn it on. Seriously. To all new players out there, re -PQ is your friend. But it looks like Deeves will actually be able to just brute force his way through this. Yeah, I mean, okay, the Felons are losing a lot of shields on account of hitting the Zeus's. The Zeus's are a good choice for countering. Just because they are so heavy. The Felons have to waste all their shield energy and the shield energy of the whole ball in order to take them down. And Faraday, also a good choice, just to stun out the thugs. Not the best choice with this number of thugs, though. A Tick would be a good choice. A tick as Landmine would work well, but a Faraday, not so much. Faradays really don't... They don't have splash damage. That's, you need the splash. That's the big thing. And Killer's Commander is taking more damage. Really, kind of surprised he did go for support comm as a frontliner. I mean, given what he has going for him, it's sort of a... Well, it's a midliner, really, with the Nanolades, but... Commander goes down, I mean that... And Killer surrenders soon after, which was interesting, but yeah, Deebs... Kinda got lucky there. Not gonna lie, that was definitely getting lucky, he did not... So, future tip, shield fa bot factory, or any factory, put as near to your opponents as you can, without getting away from your star location. And... Early raiding is very useful, I mean, Deebs did get away with this, he did win... But... It does not... In 1v1, you do not want to be building this. Not until you get to the point where you have a comfortable midway in the map. Once you about 20-25 metal, 20, metal income or so, then you might want to switch to Thug Law, or Thug Felon. Even then, though, it's a matter... You need to have some support for it. So anyway, I will be back with another game between these two, which I shall go over in as much detail here. So stay tuned.